got a nice little full exchange right there. Nothing too special, but just like to keep the rune coin stuck up. And I'm not sure if I said it on a clip yet, but I'm saving up all my Cerberus items for when until we basically get the halibut. Just see how that goes. This is what we're currently already looking at. Four primordials, three pagasians, four eternals, and eight smoldering. Is that in fact accurate, or did I rune coin something at the start by accident? I might have. I think one eternal crystal. Oh, so sad. One eternal, but everything else has been kept. Oh yeah, and the pet, but yeah, fuck pets. They're junk anyway. And that's already 16.2k. That's a full exchange right there, just from Cerberus. Absolutely wonderful. Except I'm keeping one smolder stone for a smoldering axolator, but you know, drops wise, it's pretty good so far. All right, welcome, dudes. Another night terror live stream. This time with a world boost. Which means we are rocking 160% drop rate. It goes a little bit up with this, 172.1%. Just a, a nice cheeky little drop rate bonus. So let's see if we can get lucky. If it's enough to uh, see some uniques today. My boy's already going in, so let's go ahead and uh, do the same. And go right into it. We should be able to see the kill right here in just a second. There we go. Good luck, number five or something. Imbue stone in my name. We take those. We take those. Good luck to the boys. Do we see the first unique of today? No, but we see another imbue stone in my name, and I am eternally grateful for such a blessing. Oh, fucking YOLO, boys. Numbers 30 and 31 in the attempts. Can we finally see something? First crystal, I think it's pretty deserved. Alright, good luck. Number 30 failed once again, and number 31 also failed once again. Very cool. Pretty damn. There we go. Anything for the boys? Oh, hey, shit, finally a drop. Siren Tome for the Iron Man. God damn, about time. Oh, we're already at the end. Damn, boys. Alright, good luck on the final one. Can we end it on something good? Please, game. An Imbue Stone in my name. Nice. And Iron Man got one, too. Let's roll it real quick. Sadly, it didn't double, so it's only one attempt, but it might be the one attempt we need. I'm gonna roll it real quick. Just my own fucking waste, anyway. I honestly see BA even grabbing the dust, because it doesn't fucking matter. Crystals don't exist. I've given up. Imbue crystals are cancelled, bro. Never mind, we actually got it. Holy mother of fucking god. Yes! Finally! Oh, feels good, bro. There we fucking go. Straight to the Wanderer. 1k Wanderer tokens. Fucking... Finally. That feels good, bro. We're gonna finish the last 18 minutes off stream, so uh, I'll check you all uh, then, but first we pay out the giveaway winners. One out of 32. Finally, the first stone of the account. Let's go, bro. Crystal. First crystal of the account. <laughs> well then, boys, you just watched the stream highlights of the last... Uh, <laughs> of the last one. And uh, at the very end there, we got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful imbuing crystal traded it in instantly for wanderer tokens that was my main goal for the week now at 1.7k i don't know what the fuck they doing though hold up all right i was a bit distracted by what was going on in game but basically it took us 32 attempts to finally see our first crystal i gotta admit i'm finally a bit motivated now i was getting really fucking desperate and it took us 32 attempts but now that we finally broke our first crystal and the dry streak and shit, I hope my RNG turns around. We have enough Infernal left for like 3 kills. Who knows, maybe we'll see more and uh, I want to do my Demonic Gorillas after this is over as well. The world boost is still active, so maybe we can uh, see a few Xenoids and then chomp those as well. Because the Zealot's Eye is going to be our very next big goal. But I'm going to need some crystals for that as well. And hopefully don't fill the Zealot's Eye too many times on top of that. All right, here comes the next kill. Two more to go after this. Anything on this one? No. Oh, my teleport is not a fucking nightmare. 
No, nothing, sadly. I would love to see one more Ambient Stone, just to see if I can get them back to back now. <laughs> and the next one, one more after this. Did this one give us anything? Nope. And there we go with the final kill. It's a Imbustone for Fried Iron. So nothing in my name to end it off, but that is fine. I'm just super happy I got my first crystal. Those 1k tokens are gonna help so much. The only thing left is my hard task now. And that was a uh, fucking ring. <laughs> like a bandless ring or something. It looked earlier like my easy and medium weren't checked off. But I could have sworn I did them. Oh, maybe I did air battle staffs and dragon boots. I guess I must have confused it with one of the MGI accounts. Do I have dragon boots from anything? Only four pairs, bro. That is not enough. I know that much. And air battle staffs. What would be the best way to get those? I have one? Bruh. Bruh. Air battle... Wait, that's the wrong section. Air battle staff. Dust devil drops one commonly. Smoke devil. I think this is the regular one, drops one commonly. Superior doesn't matter. Hydra? One commonly. Alchemical Hydra. Fucking two? Drops two at a time. Is there anything better for this? What the hell, bro? Yeah, Bill Staff, also one. Dragon of Prime? Oh, it's probably Wind Golems, that's the one. Wind Golems, 10 to 25. I guess I'm gonna try grinding that out real quick. Just because why not? Might, may as well try, and I can use some of the gems and shit to stock up on those. And do something for Dragon Boots, I don't remember what is actually good for that. Well, Chasm Quaker is an option at least. Ren Titan drops 1 to 3. Spiritual Mages, how often do... 1 in 250 bro. Necri Arc, I'm guessing that's the superior version. Drops 3 at 1 in 40. How about normal Necreals? 1 in 66, better than fucking spiritual mages, that's kinda crazy. Dragon Impling, Nex, Nasus Trull, No, oh, I'm doing Revenants. There's Nex, Dragon Implings, 5 to 10. Yeah, Chasm Quaker, I don't have that unlocked yet. Necreals don't seem to be too awful for him. Kinda shitty to grind out in one go. Okay, at least all spirits seem to drop it, so it's not too bad in Elite Dungeon, I think. I don't know yet about that one, but I think I'll do some skilling zones. It's been a long time since I visited that place, but we'll give it a go. You know what, if I'm gonna be here anyway, and I don't have a Galvanic pickaxe, by the way. That real quick, free rune coins. I am gonna go ahead and sacrifice one of these smoldering stones for a pickaxe. Why not? It's a little bit of an upgrade, so may as well. Be slightly, slightly better. Alright, did a bit of golems, got 90 air battle stamps, and that is enough to clear this task. Is there another step? Yes, it was only one out of three. Nice. Could have done this a bit earlier. Rune square shields, I do believe. I do not have any, so I'm gonna have to make some. I was originally gonna do the Money Gorillas after the stream, but because we got the Imbio Crystal I wanted, I'm not gonna bother right now. I don't have that many luck tokens anyway, so I'm just gonna do this for a bit. And then head over to Cerberus. I would love to see a Colossal Wild World boost is still active. And who knows, maybe that will be the little bit of luck we need for that Cerberite Heli, right? Alright, made the Square Shields for another easy step. A little bit too many. I have 530 for Dragon Stones. I don't even think I need to cut those. I totally have that many. And that is all the easy steps completed. So now we're dealing with those Dragon Boots and a Ring of War, which is probably not gonna happen. That brings us to a grand total of 1839 tokens so far. Very nice. And I managed to find myself another Rune Coin Exchange. Apparently I had a bunch of Dragon Spears I completely overlooked up until now. They can occasionally be asked for by the merchant, but not that big a deal. I also had some spare uh, beef outs that I got a while ago from a task scroll. That is gonna help. Now I just need to take a little bit out. Get to the right amount. Yeah, that's good enough, honestly. Something like that. Oop! Another nice little exchange on the account. Oh, spent the entire fucking thing on Elixir packs for four Infernals. Luckily for me, I needed Grand Elixir, so it's not a complete waste anyway, but a little bit on the low side for sure. 
Right, I don't think I can commentate for much longer. I must keep camping Cerberus for the time being. Just trying to see if we can get lucky on one or two Colossal spawns tonight would be amazing. Also double boss points at the moment, so I'm just stacking up on those, trying to get superior God Wars dungeons for the future. Um, kinda wanna get the D-boots, not sure, it kinda depends on how this goes. I really, really wanna get a Colossal. And worst case, I, I might be able to get the D-boots tomorrow morning. I could do it in Elite God Wars, get some uh, Divine Book progress as well, because you gotta kill minions outside the rooms. But... Yeah, kind of gotta see how much time I have tomorrow morning. And otherwise, it resets in the afternoon and we can just get other tasks. And I'm really hoping for a Nightmare Stabber in Quiz the Legs, because we can actually do those elites. Trying to get at least one recharge accessory would be nice, especially for a place like the Elite God Wars Dungeon Followers. Well, after being here almost the entire day now, I still have yet to see another Colossal. And I just opened basically my last Slayer uh, for the time being. We're now at 2,000 Slayer points, meaning I've spent over 10,000 on them. I've opened a lot of urns and the loot overall has been quite disappointing. Not as many Brimstone and, and Laren Keys as I would have hoped. I got a lot of point chests and like coins and just junk all together. Unfortunate, but worth the risk I would say. It's just that now I'm running out of Slayer points, so that probably won't happen for a little while. And uh, more than anything, I would like to see another Colossal. The world boost has been off for hours at this point. So unfortunate, I could not see another spawn while that was still active. The Crystal and Smolder Luck is pretty decent. I haven't seen one in a while, but they're adding up slowly in the bank, so that is nice. Yeah, almost that 3000 KC as you could just see. So uh, we're getting up there, that's for sure. I might, might have to try and get some Quake Dragon boots before tomorrow 4 p.m. So we can, uh, so we can finish the last medium task. I couldn't think of my, <laughs> what I was trying to say there. So yeah, some more shit to do. There we go. It is a colossal Cerberus. All right, let's see what this one delivers us. It's been a little while. Uh, last five kills were all nothing, so I really hope this one at least gives us something, you know? Alright, should be it in a second here, good luck. Epic like a, epic luck out. Sacred token, nothing else, alright. Well then. I'll take the free sacred token, but that is obviously not great. But it's something, it's something at least. I think it's a collection log item at least, yeah. Okay, 8 kills now at almost 3 kkc. We're technically like 2 spawns short to be on raid. We spawned 2 in the first 1k with superior 1. And then, you know, after 1000, almost 2000 kills, average is 1 in 250. So that means I should have seen 8 and I've seen 6. Ish. Around and about. I am a few kills short of 3k, but still. We'll continue grinding and one day it's gonna happen, boys. I believe. Been thinking for a little while, <clears throat> I just wanted to check out the perk trees. Obviously I need 7.5k for Superior God was one and then another 10k to get the second one to increase it, which is really nice. Now we have the Soul Snatcher one such as 20% chance to receive an extra boss point per boss kill. Stuff like that is also really useful. Um, I think what I want to do though, is these are relatively cheap, 500 points and 1.5k. Uh, heavily increases the amount of runex points you get for bossing. I'm gonna be here at Cerberus for quite a while, so I think I just want to go ahead and unlock those. Um, I'll get plenty of boss points by the time I get my halberd, I'm pretty confident in that much. Unless I get super super spooned and receive like a few in a row, right? Or like I get my Cerberite heli on the next Colossal, basically. But, I doubt that will happen, so for the time being unlocking these would be more useful. And I could even end up going for this one, 20% chance to receive an extra boss skill instead of 15%, so slight increase, but well, every little bit helps. And then we could upgrade it to this one after that for 15k, and then this one, 
and I believe this one are for uh, elite achievements. These two, that's 25k and 50k. By the time I get to those, I'll definitely have superior cutlers at least. Gonna need those at some point if I want to get like the challenge of jet pad and stuff, but. Elite God Wars is still relatively far away at the moment, like I don't have any intentions to go there anytime soon. Um, even once I get the Halberd, I'll probably focus on raids first. Um, I might have to go there at some point, obviously, but not a priority for now, so getting those perk upgrades sounds really good to me. And then as soon as I hit 5k boss points, maybe I'll go ahead and upgrade the one for more boss points, and then go for God Wars Superiors. Mainly because, like I said, I'm gonna be here for a while. And once we do get a heli, if we start doing TOB, getting those extra boss points will be nice as well. Bit of a long clip, but, you know, important enough, I guess. Also, already at 3.2 kkc without another spawn, so another 250-ish dry for a spawn. My luck here is just not great. We have a total of 8 colossals in 3.2 kkc, which is pretty bad. Well, technically, I should say, in 2.2k, I've seen 6, which is pretty disgusting. I really hope it turns around soon and I get a few in a row. While my shitty colossal luck remains, I'm gonna go ahead and do this little E-Corp that's spawning. Honestly, at this point, I can really take the small tiny breaks from literally anything, just to not be at servers for a little while. Because my god, does it suck. Just got a smoldering stone navigation though, so that ain't too bad. Slowly stacking them up. I am gonna use one more smoldering for the axe, obviously. We made the pickaxe. Everything else besides the one eternal we're missing, I'm gonna save the rune coin at the end. Can't wait for that even, but yeah, pretty shit spawn rate, honestly. I think my average is nearly 1 in 400 now, like 1 in 383, which is really bad. <laughs> 1 in 250 is the supposed spawn rate, so we're a little bit over that at the moment. Hopefully it turns around soon, but first a little e-corp, let's get 100 shards and get closer to finishing an intrinsic shield. Would actually be really nice to hunt one of those, but... Need 12 more for the achievement. Not expecting much in 12 kills, but... Would be nice. We're currently at 82. I think in 12 kills we can get close to 100 shards, if we don't hit any of the rare drop table ones, like 50 shards, 100 shards, etc. And then, uh... We'll get an extra 100 for the achievement. Would bring us close to the halfway mark, but... We're gonna have to do a lot of e-corps in the future. Alright, doubled 100 shards in my name, please. Oh wow, nothing in my name, once again. Love to see it. 50 shards for Puffy, though, that is really nice. Well, currently at 3462kc. Our last spawn was at like... Uh, 2950-ish. So we're incredibly dry. Over twice the drop rate, or spawn rate, I should say now. It's getting so incredibly demotivating, because I get like no clips during this. <laughs> it's just sitting here for hours on hours on hours on end with nothing happening. This is absolute torture. I really need like a secondary thing to do as we work on this just to make this grind more bearable, because holy fuck.